This video is designed to help the healthcare professionals who need to perform a basic foot assessment for screening purposes in patients with diabetes. This video is not designed to show all the examination techniques or abnormal findings or to provide advice on the management of diabetic foot problems. The assessment consists of inspecting both feet, checking the circulation and the sensation. Finally, one has to record the findings and act upon them if abnormal. In the inspection, we need to check the skin of both feet for any skin break that can be a source of infection, such as ulcers, wounds, blisters or fissures. One should also look for areas of bony prominence which may be at risk of damage through pressure or rubbing. Remember to check the heels and the space between the toes, since these areas may hide a skin break otherwise not apparent. The assessment of circulation focuses on the feet pulses, the dorsalis pedis on the dorsum of the foot and the posterior tibialis on the medial side of the ankle. The dorsalis pedis usually runs between the first and the second metatarsal bones. The posterior tibialis runs approximately 2 cm behind and below the medial malleolus, that is, the bony prominence on the inside of the ankle. To feel the pulses, explore these areas with your finger pads, applying gentle pressure. Normally, one should be able to feel both pulses. The absence of the foot pulses indicates peripheral vascular disease. The most practical and reliable tool for the assessment of sensation is the monofilament TENG. This is a thin plastic hair that should be applied onto the patient's skin at a right angle until it buckles. Use the monofilament on the arch and on the plantar and dorsal aspect of the great toe. The patient should be able to feel the monofilament touching the skin. Failure to do so indicates reduced sensation, a common finding in diabetic neuropathy. Top tips. Ask the patient to close the eyes to avoid a visual bias. Do not ask leading questions, as this can also bias the patient's perception. Always record your findings for each foot for inspection, circulation and sensation. Act upon them as appropriate. We hope you found this video helpful. As with everything in life, practice makes it perfect.